What is up my Rangers Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys I want to talk to you all about is COD 2020 or as most people are basically calling it now, Call of Duty Black Ops. Now all of this information is just early information so basically take it with a grain of salt and just keep that in mind. So anything that I say in this could easily just change when the game actually comes out. Now before I start, I just want to say that I have a Twitch channel that I live stream to weekly, mainly Warzone, but I'm trying to get more into uh, Minecraft now, and of course I've streamed other games on it as well. Link down in the description to that if you want to check it out. So let's just get straight into the video guys. So the rumour that is going around is that the game will be called Call of Duty Black Ops, and we still don't know... And it has not been confirmed, but it's leading us to believe that it is going to be a reboot reboot, or a soft reboot of the Black Ops series, just like they did with Modern Warfare 2019. Now, it will be set in the Cold War era, and we may see a new campaign. Now, it won't be continuing on from the previous Call of Duty Black Ops campaign. This is going to be a new clean slate and can do whatever they want. Now there were rumours that the campaign was not done, this however is false and you can actually play the campaign and it's, as I put it into terms, they said it's almost finished, so it's more or less 99.9% .9 of it is finished, all they need to do is just get voice actors for the characters and record them and some animations, maybe not leaning but mantling stuff or reloading a weapon or switching weapon those kind of animations now before i start i want to say zombies we actually don't know anything about this as of now and it's kind of pretty sad that we don't hopefully it doesn't go down the road that i did in black ops where it just kind of jump to different the same characters but in different minds in different times and everything like that. i just got all confusing and i do not want to so now we move on to the multiplayer side of the game and this is where most things that i'll be talking about are from so yeah let's just go straight into it so number one is the minimap so in modern warfare if you don't have a silencer on your gun you actually won't show up on the map if you shoot however this is actually changing to go back to the basically the old school minimap with it being if you don't have a silencer and if you do shoot and it's loud you will come up on the minimap just kind of basically just a normal way of doing it and infinity war of course did not do this and they don't know how to make a good game just really and truly number two is the compass is actually coming back now it's mainly used in warzone or any other battle royale but most people really don't care about it or don't even notice that it's on their screen in the multiplayer side so as long as it's in the warzone side or the battle royale side I don't think anybody would care if they see it in the Modern Warfare side. I personally don't. Even as of now, I don't care. Number three. Mountain and leaning are not returning. Now, I'm glad it is. And if you're one of these people that use these mechanics, you need to be just executed or just shot in the head. Because COD is not supposed to be played with these kind of things. This is more of a battlefield kind of thing, in my personal opinion. But on the bright side, we will see the sliding movement, which I think everyone can agree is a good mechanic to have. Now, we won't be seeing the dolphin dive, which is basically the iconic version of the slide mechanism in the Black Ops series. And it's kind of sad that we won't see it, but it's kind of good at the same time, in my personal opinion. Also, swimming was in both Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4, as well as this, this will be returning in the multiplayer side and the warzone side of black ops as well now number five there will be no tax sprint this is kind of eh, i don't really care about this it, to be honest like it is what it is it is what it is and if it is in the game it is if it's not then that's perfectly fine as well i don't really mind in my personal opinion it kind of depends on how the game how fast the game is going to be played and everything like that if it's a slow game then i can understand them having this in but if it's not a slow game then i can understand why they don't have this in the game 
Moving on to number 7, there is supposedly only 10 maps coming out at launch and these all will be set in the Cold War era which are typical 3 lane system which Treyarch are basically iconic for and it is the best way to make a map because you can have maps just like Modern Warfare where you can go in through doors, go to another lane or there's they have three lanes but then they have little lanes in it which basically makes up like seven or eight different ones and they're just i just hate them so much it just takes away from knowing okay well people can come from here here or here i can watch this lane and this lane here and then someone else can watch that lane kind of just locking down lanes is just the main thing i personally think about moving on to number eight no specialist characters now what i mean by this is we won't see their abilities just like we did in black ops 3 and black ops 4 where they had abilities these won't be in the game now they could come back as kill streaks or score streaks i'll talk about that now in a minute or two but we could see them coming back as quote unquote operators being in the game those kind of things where you can buy skins for them so you could see mason come back and you can get a skin for him Rezanov, and you can get a russian skin for him hudson maybe a cia one all that kind of stuff number nine we have field upgrades now field upgrades are coming back and i'm kind of okay with this and then i'm kind of annoyed because this means then that dead silence which should be a perk may come back as a field upgrade instead which i do not like this just makes no sense and i don't know why infinity did war did this they just are idiots and i just want to say before i go any further I call this game, I call Modern Warfare to be a bad game. I just want to say that. I said it about two or three months beforehand. And was I right? God damn, I was right. And I'm always right. I've been predicting it from Black Ops 2. And boom, boom, boom. I said good, bad, bad, good, good, good. And everything like that. And boom, I was right. 100% record. Let's fucking get it, boys. Moving on. Then I want to say the field upgrades we could see the likes of ammo boxes coming back or maybe a trophy system of some kind something like that would be pretty cool to have and it just is more logical than just having the perk dead silence number 10 then both lethals and tacticals you can only carry one of these which i do not like because i like to run a nade and a stun and that's the way i've always run it like that's just the common way of running uh, Call of Duty and that should just be a thing of course give us a perk where we can have two tacticals and then zero lethals that would be good as well but personally that's just my preference number 11 we have create a class now in modern warfare 2019 we have numerous attachments that we can put on our weapons and these actually have their pros and cons however i think this is going to be done away with and we will probably be giving us the classic pick 10 system at least i hope so because the creative class in modern warfare i just find terrible and it just takes ages like you have to actually go online to find out okay well this attachment has aim downside speed reduce but my gun in my run run movement is up or i could have another one and it cancels both of them out or some bullshit like that it's just ridiculously stupid number 12 then we have score streaks now these will be returning in black ops now this rewards players for playing the objective like capping flags planting the bomb holding a hard point and many many more now this should have been in modern warfare because 90 percent or even 99.9 of the people who play this game just camp the whole time and it is extremely extremely sad now the health so the health in black ops will supposedly not be 100 hp it'll actually be 150 and if this is the case then it would be interesting to see the time to kill how much damage guns do or basically just yeah the, the time to kill basically is all i'm kind of worried about now i think with health we should be able to see the enemy's health above their name just like we did in black ops 4 also in black ops 4 you had to manually heal yourself this will not be returned to black ops black ops new series the reboot which is good but 
I didn't really mind it. I didn't really mind the stim shots. I think they were a good thing to have and I thought they were a bad thing. So basically the stims had their pros and cons at the end of the day. For me personally I kind of liked them but I'm okay with auto hell regen. Now number 13 is team limits. Now the team limits have gone back to the old ways instead of the Modern Warfare 2019's shitty 5 versus 5 we will actually now see 6 versus 6. Now this will actually quicken up the pace of the game a lot faster at least I hope so anyway but personally for me I think it will. As of now there is no prestige system now this is something that i want to have back into the game because this is by far the best system and you can be like oh yeah i can i can grind to master prestige and it'll give me this cool looking uh prestige icon beside my name and i'll get a calling card that looks unreal as well and i'll get some camo for my gun or something like that it just personally like the black ops 2 one i went up to master prestige and I absolutely loved it. I absolutely grinded the game so much. Now that is all I have for the multiplayer side. So moving on to Warzone. We don't know much about this game mode. However Warzone will still be free to play. For everyone and their grandmother. And you will be able to play on a Cold War era map. With Cold War era guns. Attachments nades lethals and many many more things that are going to be in the cold war era just like they did in modern warfare where you have guns equipment and many more that are available right now in real life or that the militaries have right now so back then they didn't have all these kind of complex guns and everything like that and drones well actually no they did have drones so we could see a lot of stuff coming back to the old way of the cold war era coming into warzone which would be pretty cool to see now the one thing i will say is that you should be able to have a playlist or kind of a section where you can pick either to play on the cold war black ops map or switch back to the modern warfare's warzone map now of course i'll have numerous videos on characters that we could see guns we could see attachments perks, lethals, tacticals and of course many many more videos that I can think of. Now personally for me I can't actually wait for the reveal or even a trailer or a teaser for the game when we will see this. Could be either in early July, mid July, <laughs> end of July, either in the month of July or August. Now of course I'll keep you guys updated when I hear new information and when the trailer or the teaser or whatever even drops. So this is the end of the video guys. I hope you did like it. If you did please hit the like button right beside the like button. Should be the subscribe button and beside that is the notification bell. You can hit all three of them and you'll be able to stay up to date whenever I upload to my channel or whenever I go live on my channel. Which is going to be rare. Just saying it's rare for me to live stream on this. Speaking of live streams. I have a Twitch live stream that I live stream to weekly, link down in the description below where you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live on my Twitch channel. Now to know whenever I upload a video or whenever I live stream on my Twitch channel, I have a Twitter which will be linked down in the description below where you can hit the follow button and you can hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date whenever I post about me uploading a video or whenever i post about me going live on my twitch channel but yeah that's it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace